Hey guys, we got ourselves some tormented souls like everyone has requested on the poll on my YouTube community page, but I'm not going to get into that. I just want to give everyone a heads up. I unfortunately will have to drop part three and part four of tormented souls. I already streamed those parts, but I think I might have to capture those moments again, but unfortunately it won't be my raw first impressions or reactions. So, um, part one and two will still be the raw footage and first impressions, um, but three and four, unfortunately, will not. So, I had some technical issues, and that led to me just, you know, not... I had to drop those videos, so um, I apologize, and I hope you all understand. Alrighty, <clears throat> welcome, welcome, guys. We are back with another live stream tonight, and we're going to be doing a let's try and starting our new let's play of Tormented Souls. Um, again, thank you for everyone that has participated in the poll on my YouTube community page. Again, for future reference, if anyone wants to participate in that, just subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel at Dragonheart20, or you can also join my Discord, link in the chat, or in the description. Um, so, <sighs> I've been uh, hearing a lot of good things about Tormented Souls. I heard that it's Resident Evil inspired. OG, let me clarify, OG Resident Evil inspired. And that apparently it also has like very difficult puzzles in the game. So, but yeah. If y'all don't know what a Let's Try is, it's basically where I do my first impressions and, you know, I also give my final thoughts at the end of part one if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on the stream. So, I can't wait to get into this. Let's do this. I'm, I I also got all my uh, all my preparations done early today, so I, I just want to... I know it's not 6 o'clock, but I just want to get into the game. <clears throat> I'm excited. I've been I've been waiting for this. All right. <clears throat> okay. Looks like we we're inside some Victorian home. The hell? A letter for me? I never receive letters. Okay. Voice acting isn't too bad. <clears throat> oh, yeah. S spin. Let's see. From John Doe, Wildberger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada, to Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell River, Canada. So, what, uh, we. Does this take place in Canada then? Okay. Um, can I not open it up? There you go. Can I not ah. move it closer? Oh. Okay. A damaged photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. Okay. Um. Do you think you can just simply abandon abandon us here? I mean. I don't owe you anything. Oh, it's been two Already in a since scene. I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep, and when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Mm. 
in that outfit? Really? You couldn't have got you couldn't have like put on something a little more sporty? <laughs> Not gonna lie, the production value of this game seems pretty top notch considering I'm assuming it's the indie dev team that made this game. Oh, damn. But someone hit her from behind? Private restroom. Okay. Oh, shit. Um... I'm gonna have to censor this on YouTube, dude. Ah, damn, dude. The nudity in this game is already blatantly obvious. God damn. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to completely censor that on YouTube. That's crazy. If you're gonna make a game like this, you need to have a censor option in the settings. Which, by the way, I already checked. There was no sensor option, which is crazy. You can get- you can actually- uh, content creators can actually get in trouble for shit like that nowadays. Cause, uh, you know, so- uh, social media and just having things online nowadays, you know, people nowadays are pussies, so. Alright, let's see. Oh, speaking of when I was setting up the game, um, I already encountered a bug. It wouldn't let- so I was just messing around with the settings and everything, and it completely just stopped working. Like this little thing right here, with the, uh, um, with the little cursor, so. Alright, so, why was I connected to the, uh, respirator? No clue. Respirators in os oscilloscopes, oscilloscopes, whatever that word is, that thing. What the, what did they do to you, me? What did they do to you? I have no fucking clue, girl. Hopefully, nothing too fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have a bandage over your eye? <gasps> Are you missing your eye? Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. An eye for an eye. <laughs> All right. Oh god, what have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? I have no clue. We'll, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, can I open these up? Uh, brown leather jacket with blue jeans. Can I... Can I, like, inspect the... The leather jacket pockets? No? look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can interact with this at all. Um, alright. You're not gonna try to wear it? Better than whatever you're wearing, I'm gonna be honest. William, William, uh, Wildberger? Wildberger? I'm gonna just call it Wildberger, whatever. Um, so we got something right here. 
I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore. All this time I have refused to let go, let hope grow inside my chest. But now that Maria is pregnant again, I'm going to be, I'm going to believe again for Maria, for those little souls for me. Okay. <laughs> Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my love, my beloved wife has blessed me with two beautiful angels, but there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. Um, she looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find this exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. Okay. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to ha- Wait, I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Huh. Okay. Um, is there more to this by some chance? Doesn't look like it. There's a number three right there. I'm pretty sure that's just a bookmarker, but... Yeah. Okay. Huh. I love this old... I really do appreciate how I use that... That restricted uh, camera view. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, this is how they go about uh, showing tutorials, huh? That's cool. An instructional sheet. Okay. X to sprint. Why to interact? Uh, oh, I, okay, they use a th um, okay. Cool. All right. Um, wait, it won't actually let me sprint though. Why not? Oh, that's how we... Okay, that's our inventory. Alright, alright. Oh, wait! Oh, the, you can find, you can discover different costumes? Can I combine the two? Nah, of course not. Why would you? Change clothes? Yes. See, that looks better. That looks so much better on her. Just saying. Alright. So, we got, looks like a medicine cabinet here. So we got that old-fashioned uh, Resident Evil style um, health indicator right here. Um, any files? We, just the things that we've already collected thus far. Wait, hold on. Um, looks to be a padlock. We need some kind of code here. Um... So we got, yep. Oh, we can open this side though. Cool. Um, go ahead and grab that. It's like a uh, pocket watch, yeah. There's a latch on the crown. Crown, there we go. An old, uh, yeah, all right. So, yep, there's twins. Oh shit, okay. Prediction. Uh, um. What's the name of this character again? I already forgot. Caroline. I think that's right. Um, I guarantee you she's one of the twins. She's one of the twins. Absolutely. All right. An old photograph of two... Let me... Of two young twins, obviously. Okay. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Okay, so we we gotta find the date. We gotta find the birth date of this then, or maybe the time. So, um, oh, so it's just gonna be this. Uh, I gotta rotate this around again. There we go. Uh, so it looks like 
to be uh okay so all right all right I think I have an idea what we need to do then um I don't think there's anything else around here oh yep there is actually right here do not let shadows em embrace you okay what does that even mean I don't know and of course this is gonna be locked yeah the door knob is missing I can't open it okay <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to do in here yeah okay so let me go ahead and input the code here. So it'd be... What did it say again? Let me look at the clock watch one more time. So it is... Okay. Uh, a little... So it'd be like... Well, 35, I think I'm reading that right. So, 12, 35? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Combination padlock, yes. Okay. I don't, what? Are we putting this in our inventory? What are we doing here? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, we can go ahead and open this up then. I don't think there was anything else in here. No. Okay, so we just got this side here. Uh, we got a monkey wrench. Oh, shit. Got something in my eye. Fuck. Alright. And uh, the jaw size is adjustable. Yes. Clearly. Uh, oh, so we're gonna have to use this to open up the, uh, the, the door that's missing the, um, the handle, the doorknob. Uh, probably about there, should, should be okay. So let's go and grab this, and yoink, should be enough. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Escape! Achievement unlocked. Escape from the bathroom. I... Oh. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Can we examine anything here? It's very dark over in here. Oh my god, that's dark! I even um, increased the brightness to make it a little bit easier. Oh shit. What is that noise, dude? Also, why... It, oh, our vision gets all weird, dude. It's creepy. You know what? Uh, I, I'm not doing this right. Let me turn off my light in my room right quick. Mm, looks to be a weird baby doll holding a lighter. Yes, sir. An old gas lighter. Can I... Uh, do anything with it? Oh, okay. But we can use it as light, though, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> but that means we can actually go down the hall now. Where it's not too spooky. I know quack food. Do not come at me. So we got an emergency exit right here. Oh, we can actually go through here. Oh. 
Um, okay. Shit, I don't want to go this way yet, though. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting the, uh, door, the emergency exit to be locked. That's usually the case in these games. So, we got more of a hallway down there. Uh, what's this? It's locked, it appears to open electronically. Okay, so, what? Do we need, like, a key card? I think? It doesn't let me actually truly examine it, so I can't really tell. Huh. Maybe we gotta open it up from someplace else. Uh, oh, and we got a stairway going down. Got a journal right here. Some kind of can- Is that a skin canvas? Is that skin right there? Okay. Alright. June 6th, 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin. But my fears were unfounded. He accepted me and even with the scar scars on my back left by my father's whip. Damn! Shit, dude. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to re uh, was to redeem my sins. Will William will never look at my father in the same way again. And that's that's it. Can I like wait? I can't do anything else though, it won't let me. Can I not like peel off the, the tape here? I feel uh I feel disgusted even having the idea of thinking when needing thing for the uh if I can have any use with the skin. Alright, it looks like there's another doorway right there, so that's a different instance. What is what does that say? What does it say? Pharmacy? Okay. There'd probably be some like green herbs in there. Oh wait. Oh, we got ourselves a map. Oh, that's cool. I love that. The old-fashioned resonant Man. This also reminds me of the map. The way the map system worked in Dino Crisis. I said this in the, pre uh, in the stream last night when I was talking to Para, but like... Man, it would be awesome if, we, if we'd be able to get a remake of uh, Dino Crisis. It, that game was just so unique in its own way. Like... God damn, I'm so sad. So, it looks like, uh, yeah, it uses the same system. Green rooms that we've been in, uh, we have been in, um, are completely cleared. We've already completely explored those rooms. Um, well, I should say it more like, uh, there's nothing to, like, there's usually no items in the green rooms. It's usually red that we have yet to, you know, get all the items. So we're right here, um, right next to the pharmacy. Looks like we're, there's a stairway that goes down and up to a different floor. So, um, looks like we can go into the waiting room here, and there's also the main hall right there. So, I don't think I can do anything with this. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I don't know where I want to explore first. Radiology. Okay, so... I... Is that like... Radiation therapy or something? Is that... Is that what that's supposed to mean? I can't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, it has a different... The handle won't budge. There are symbols... Above the keyhole. Oh... Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Shit. Okay, well, can't go that way. Shit, I don't know where to go first. Let's backtrack and go into that, um, that hallway we discovered first. Oh! Fuck! Dude! 
Whoever nailed those fucking paintings on the wall need to, needs to, like, get fired. Assholes. Fuck. The people in the picture... Let me turn this off. There's no reason to have this light on. The people in the picture are wearing masks. The whole image is unsettling. Oh, is that just a pic? Isn't that actually a historical picture? That looks familiar. Come on. I can't tell. Huh. Alright. I need to speak to y'all's manager. Um, and like, let them um, report that whoever nailed those pictures on the wall didn't do it well enough. Like, they had it like, the nails too, you know, deep. Therefore, the pictures were too flimsy, you know? They, they, they w weren't, like, stable enough for hanging. A little, uh, toddler can get hurt by that. Just saying. Anyways. I, I, I crack jokes when I'm nervous, guys. Shut up. Don't judge me. A vending machine. It's out of order. Man, maybe I wanted some, like, Dr. Pepper or some Sprite or something, man. Come on. Oh, there's something right here. We got a clip of nails. Can be used with a nailer. Get nailed. Sorry. Um. So we cannot go through here. It looks like we. Looks like we need like some kind of. Um, some like some kind of like lever or something. Another baby doll, dude. That shit out of here. I hate porcelain dolls, by the way. They creep me out. Oh shit, we're... Uh, examination room? Okay. Um, uh, the left side of a plastic heart. Alright. Also, is this a safe room? I'm assuming this is a safe room. Cause you hear the music difference? Sounds pretty calming, despite still being a little creepy in here. It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. Okay. Uh, so we got a vial. Morphine treats minor injuries. So this is... Okay, morphine is going to be basically our green herbs in this game. Gotcha. Um... Anything I do here? Medical books, nothing useful. Says you. Knowledge is power, after all. Oh, okay, so we need, like, some kind of, um... Tape wheel, or what are those things are called? Okay. Oh, I, okay, here we go. Set Seven-inch tape, that could be you, yep. There we go. Old files, nothing interesting. Again, says you. It's not plugged in. We'll plug it in! Okay, so we got ourselves a... Uh... Oh, is this gonna be how we save? Imagine. Uh... Oh, it is! Yo! Okay. That's cool. I like that. It's like the old, um... An old magnetophone. Uh, it's like... It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burker Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine. And my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. 
Am I going insane? No, no, no. You said it wrong. Every time you close your eye. See what I did there? See what I did there? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I have a fucked up sense of humor. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's saved. Registry. Anyways, a report about the Tis Mute Tribe? According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tis Mute. Tismut tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island shore, dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs and experts ex suspect that these were twins buried together. Twins? I wonder why that sounds familiar. Alright. Cool. Not gonna lie, the music is pretty, uh, pretty badass. Okay, that's a electronic lock. Yep. <laughs> How do I... How does one access map? Just by doing this, I guess, right? Yep, okay. So not like no quick map option? Anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, that's fine. Um... Let's... Let's go upstairs first. I... <clears throat> I promise I'm not, it's not because I'm being a bitch. Okay? Um, Judith beheading hollow ferns painted by Cara Vagio in 1602. Guys, again, I, I'm very big dumb. Alright. It dip, uh, depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general hollow in his tent after charming him. The recreation of Okay. Like the original? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Also, just it's locked from the other side. Okay. <laughs> All right, down we go. Wait, heart attack. You trying to like uh, foreshadow a jump scare or something? Game. Hmm. Radiology. Uh, we got some more nails. What, are we gonna get like a nail gun or something? That'd be awesome. I just want a weapon, man. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid, with the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Anyways, a hex in socket. It's missing a handle. Yes, you know, that that's usually what those need. <clears throat> and it gets so hot in my room. Alright. Oh, fuck you, man! Dude, this guy be doing wheelies! Dude, I will fuck you up. You're in a wheelchair. I'm not. Surely this girl knows like some kind of kung fu or something. Wait, how the fuck did you even get up them goddamn stairs in a wheelchair? 
Dude, this guy must have, like, really strong upper body strength or something. What is that camera angle? That is so... Uh... That actually gave me shivers. Oh, wow. It's been mu uh, mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Uh... Okay... <sighs> Ain't no bitch, let's go... Alright, we got a... Uh, why is the statue wearing a gas mask? The hell? You know what? Screw that! Whoever designed the, uh, the sconches in this mansion slash hospital must have some weird mental issues. Like, look at it! It's just hands, like, you know, statued-ass hands holding up these, uh, these torches, man. It's fucking weird. Oh man, I miss these, uh, these camera angles. So, we got that path down there. <coughs> and we got this path here. It, again, like, there was the, uh... Let me see, the file. I think it's this one. It says I should, I should be able to run with X, but it doesn't actually let me. Or do I gotta use... Oh, okay, okay. So if you're using the D-pad, um, you, it's for running if you're gonna be a weirdo and use the D-pad. If you're using the analog stick, you, you're running by default. Okay, that makes sense now. <clears throat> Alright. The morgue. It's locked from the other side. Of course it is. So that's where we need to go, though, right? For a key item? He's hold like, apparently he's holding something in his hand. Alright. Oh. What the hell? Okay. Um... I'm not gonna lie, he's not that scary. Oh, hi. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Okay. I love how there's just constant and seamless dialogue. My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Mm. <sighs> oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. Uh, sure. I remember you. What? Definitely. I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I sorry? certainly don't remember coming here before. Yeah, she's sorry that she doesn't remember you. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. Oh, but you're not going to read that bottom part. Anything could be lurking in the dark. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. <laughs> Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Okay. 
Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. Okay. In the hall, through the door that leads to the generator room. Okay. Alrighty. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Amen on that. So, my final thoughts on this game so far. Like I said, I've already done some streaming of this game up to a certain point. So, but I actually am really enjoying this game. The game's actually really creepy. Um, it actually has me on edge. I am also appreciating the puzzles so far. And yeah, <laughs> the game got me uh, doing my coping uh, habit where I, whenever I am scared, I'll act, I'll end up acting really tough and shit and I'll start cracking jokes and things like that. Um, and I love how the dialogue is um, very seamless. Um and yeah, I, I love how it the game uses the darkness as a weakness. You cannot stay in the darkness for too long. I love the camera angles. The camera angles are beautiful. Uh, it puts me on edge. Um, I like the first monster and the monsters that we all, um, that you guys will be able to see in part two. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm really enjoying the game so far. Um, I, again, I think I, I thank you all for for um, helping me decide on a next Let's Play series. So I appreciate you guys who voted on the poll. Um, so yeah, I can't I can't wait to continue. And like I said, unfortunately, part three and four is going to have to be put on hold. Um, so I'll have to completely redo those parts, but yeah, I hope you all understand and I hope you enjoy this video. Catch you guys next time.